How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports. Today we're looking at a 1997 Honda Orthea 2.0 GX. So this is an all-wheel drive model. They are a little harder to come by. This one did just get out of paint, so it's looking really, really good aside from a little bit it's been raining this morning. But we'll do a quick little video on this one. Again, I've had several Ortheas. I love this car. It's basically a CRV wagon. It's got the four-cylinder B20B indestructible Honda motor. And this one is, I think, like 80-something thousand miles, 81,000 miles. So still pretty, uh, still pretty fresh for that motor. When it did come in, it did have a couple of uh, dings on this side that we uh, fixed. And there was just a lot of fading, especially on the roof of the car. Now it's looking brand spanking new. I really like it. The only complaints I have on it, and I even yelled at my guy for it, right up here. Kind of just like peeled off a little bit. Not the greatest, but again, he was like, oh, there's supposed to be some trim piece here. And I was like, all right, whatever, man. Aside from that little itty bitty piece, everything else looks really good on the car. I'll try to just do some quick pans on it real fast. A little bit of overspray right here. I mean, if we're just nitpicking again, it's not gonna be perfect, but we try. The roof. Yeah, I've lost count. I don't really know what number or Thea we're on. Uh-oh. Oh, can't tell if that's, no, that's just like a piece of paper or something. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how many Ortheas we've had so far. I mean, we've got to be in the tens at this point, I think. Double digits. They're just solid cars. I sell them to all different types of customers. The last Orthea we had, a customer, uh, customer from Maine reserved it, flew down, did the same thing, but I think I only painted the bumper on that car, front bumper. And he drove it all the way back to Maine from Georgia with no issues whatsoever. Again, my guys in Japan do a routine service on these cars. Uh, this one didn't need anything too crazy. I think we just did front pads, rotors, fluids, belts, wiper blades, just basic, you know, traditional routine stuff. I don't think it needed a, a timing belt, otherwise we would have done it. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I mean, like I said, this will be a short video. It's just a very solid Orthea ready to go. The only thing I didn't do was uh, I kept the original decal, so you can kind of see the original red on some of the spots. Again, it's not very noticeable unless you get really up close, but I did have them uh, keep those intact. Again, you can order them online, but that's just the original. Looking at the inside, so a couple of cool things. Um, I need to do a little more research. But, okay, well, first of all, like, just inside looks really good. Seats are nice, very clean, well-maintained, no cracks on the dash, no weird suction cup things or anything like that. Um, it's got, like, the original uh, head units, and I believe that this whole unit is, like, a factory Orthea thing. I have to do a little bit more research, but it's a Honda Navi. It's got the DVD in there. Again, these don't work over here in the States unfortunately but uh, it's still pretty cool that like it's very flush like everything goes really well with the center console you've even got your little remote and i want to play around with it some more do a little more research but i'm pretty sure that this came in the orthea um and then you got your cup holders can't go wrong with some cup holders Back seat, just as nice as the front. Doesn't even look like anyone's been sitting back here. Trunk, lots of space. Even got the uh, shade. I think that's a CD. It's like a CD player, but it, look, it looks like someone stole the CD player. <laughs> or, I don't know. Maybe. That's crazy. Yeah, just give you a 
better look at that Honda Navi too. This is an automatic. Again, finding manual ones is very getting harder to find. And most of them are uh, B16 or B18. So B20B is uh, my favorite. 130,836 kilometers. Again, around 81,000 miles. So still got a lot of life. Mirrors work. All the windows work. Had an issue with the window on the other Orthea. And uh, not the case for this one. Um, There's Old Faithful. Like I said, a four-cylinder, um, 2.0, B20B, like one of Honda's, you know, more popular, reliable motors. Um, it has been converted to R134, so you don't have to worry about searching down any R12. AC Phillips will be easy on this car. Locked up. There we go. Well, that was kind of a rough start up. <laughs> Again, really happy with the paint. Now that it's out of paint, it's probably going to be my daily for the next couple of weeks. But uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out. All of our info is in the description below. And uh, we appreciate you guys checking us out. We'll see you on the next one.